Hello everybody, it's Nolka here and welcome to this video where I will present you the new version of the directional blur shader for the Godot engine. So this new version is much more optimized and it's actually better looking than the previous one. So first of all you want to make sure you have some alpha space around your texture otherwise there will be clipping. Next in your sprite you want to go under the material section and create a new shader and under shader you want to load uh, the directional blur shader which will be available in the description. Next under shader parameters you have some options to play with. So one of them is samples and this is basically the number of times um, the, the shader samples the original texture because this is a fake blur and it just uh, copies the original texture and displaces it according to uh, vector. So 8 is pretty good because it doesn't have a very big impact on per performances. Uh, but if you go lower, it, it will look kinda meh. So if I increase the strength, it starts getting blurry. But uh, as you can see, if I, if I get to some higher values, uh, you will see uh, each individual copies and that looks pretty bad. So, in order to hide that, you can load a noise texture. This noise texture will be in the description again. And as you can see, it applies dithering. So, it hides the fact we are copying uh, textures. By the way, thanks to the guy who made this original shader on Shader Toy, because um, I took the dithering technique from, from there. So, huge thanks to you. So this is it, thanks for watching and as usual uh, if you have any questions ask them in the comments and I'll try m to make a um, video explaining how the shader works because it's pretty simple. Uh, I, I don't know, I, I'm not making promises because uh, I told a guy uh, in, a co in comments that I will make video about explosions in 3D and the other video uh, is still not up because I have still not made explosions in Godot because I, I don't know, I'm procrastinating. And see you in the next video which will be coming out in two years or so.